All right, I've just set up here. So I've got a site here, and they've mowed it for me. And uh, right here was a, an old farmhouse at one stage, so we're gonna go for it, see what we find. Yeah, first coin of the hunt, and I think it's 1921. It's a British coin, I'll give a better shot of it later, but uh, it's always the way, isn't it? Looks like British. Yeah, I can't see it very good through the camera, but I'm just giving it a bush clean, bit of spit. Yeah, 1921. Awesome. Holy dooly, I moved everything out the road and it's, it's very worn actually. 19, 1954 I think it is. Kangaroo half penny, that was a decent signal. Scott Elizabeth second on the back. Now, just packed up that one with the half penny and I've got a signal right next door, it's kind of shaky. But I've just seen the edge of it, if I can find it, where is it there? So let's have a look together. Oh, two cent coin, come on. Alright, just pulled this thing out. Rusted piece of steel, it's been here a while because it's just falling apart. Oh, what's that? Oh, I don't know what that is. Anything else? It's definitely it. Don't know. I have to. Uh, it's got sort of an outer. And then an inner piece. I don't know if that's dirt inside or it's a compact or a watch. I think we'll need to clean that one up to find out what that is.
Okay, I got a really good signal in here. Bit of brass. Oh, look at that. Two cents. I knew I had a good signal. Let's keep going. So, oh, come on. Going for a target and Shovel has just revealed this bottle. Baldings Australia, which is definitely a medicine type bottle. It has a screw top, so it's not too old. It's quite nice. Just popped out. It's over there, it's a decent signal as to what it will be. I don't know. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, it's one of these funny little brass. Brass rolled rings. Oh well. Okay. 70s. Pretty decent. So right there. Oh. Ah, it's a bottle cap. That's pretty decent. Uh, not another bottle cap. Uh. See, uh, here's a snake that I just found. And let's have a look at him. He's looking a little bit worse for wear there. Kids look away if you don't like seeing yucky stuff. But he's a snake all right. He's probably, well, he's over half a metre. He's probably close to a metre long. And uh, he's as close as I want to be to a snake, that's for sure. There we go. Let's uh, do a bit of a zoomo on him. And uh, underneath, have a look. So while I'm here doing this, up comes his friends and bites me. So there's a little snake. He's, as I say, he's a bit worse for wear. I think he's tried to cross the road because I found him on the road. So what I'm going to do is dignify him with a little bit of a launch into the bush. But uh, yep, yeah, that's snake for you.